Single working mothers are closely watching lawmakers in Columbus as they discuss bills that would make it a little bit easier to qualify for child care assistance. If the vouchers were gone, I would be out. I, I would probably have to even get a second job. Right now, Ohio moms with two children only qualify if they make thirteen fifty an hour or less. Our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganek has found some are afraid to take slightly higher paying jobs for fear they would lose the help and find themselves struggling even more than they are right now. He goes in depth tonight on those proposed changes. Courtney and Rob, Ohio's budget bill is heading to the Senate and part of that bill would allow working moms who make up to $15 an hour to qualify for daycare assistance. But some state lawmakers say the income threshold should be more like $21 an hour to truly make a difference. It's one of the hardest things um, about motherhood is trying to find who's going to care for your child. Kayla Thompson is a single mother raising her four year old son, Tevin. She's a teacher who is currently getting about 40% of her son's daycare expenses paid for by Ohio's child care program. But she's facing a real dilemma. With this, there's that fear of making too much money. Kayla is worried if she accepts a raise at work, current Ohio guidelines could cause her to lose her daycare assistance because she would be making more than 130% of the federal poverty level or a little less than $23,000 a year for a family of two, causing her to make some tough choices. Vouchers were to be taken away from me, I may have to push him into kindergarten and I don't think he's ready. State Representative Mary Lightbody says it's a problem faced by hundreds of Ohio's working single mothers. That's why she's co-sponsor of House Bill 145, allowing working moms who have an income of two times the federal poverty level to qualify for daycare assistance. Lightbody says too many Ohio mothers are paying thousands for daycare annually so they can stay employed and then are forced to make cuts elsewhere. And if they don't have enough food on the table, the parents don't eat so the kids can. Child care advocacy group Groundwork Ohio says House Bill 145 is needed because it says the Ohio budget bill effort would have too small an impact in helping low-income working families. It only serves between 2,000 and 2,500 additional kids and that's at a time when we're serving 20,000 less children in our publicly funded child care program. And Groundwork Ohio says an income threshold connected to Ohio's budget bill in the Senate should be decided upon on June 12th. Meanwhile, House Bill 145 is in committee and is ready for hearings and testimony from Ohio mothers who say it's desperately needed. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.